so today I am going to be taking a swing at a New Orleans classic. It is called Smothered Okra. I'm going to be adding shrimp, chicken, and sausage to mine. I've never made it myself. I am not from New Orleans. I've done my research and I hope that you all um, like this recipe. So we're going to start off with four pounds of shrimp. Okay, two pounds of frozen cut okra. We have some chicken here. I just took a few uh, like chicken tenderloins and cut them up. I'm going to be seasoning those and they'll marinate while um, I start everything else. We have some turkey smoked sausage. Obviously this recipe would call for a smoked sausage, a traditional pork sausage. Um, but I have someone in the house that don't eat pork, so this is what I have to do for a lot of my dishes. I have to use turkey as a substitute for um, <clears throat> pork items. Celery, you're going to need some garlic, bell pepper, onion, and some ooh, diced tomatoes or like a rotel um, combo. I've seen somebody do that and I thought that was really neat. But I'm gonna just use regular diced tomato this is uh, one pound. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of that or not, but we shall see. So um, I'm going to get all this stuff prepped up and I will meet you all at the stove when we are ready to get everything started. So see you all soon. Everything has been done that's going to get done for now. Our um, shrimp stock has about 30 more minutes. And this here is going to continuously get stirred every three to five minutes to make sure that it does not stick or burn to the bottom of this pot. So um, I'm going to do that basically until this stuff starts to dry out. Um, once I get to a certain point, if I'm seeing that it's not... Uh, that it's still a bit slippery um, like how it is right now I might add some vinegar or I might add some flour okay to help absorb some of that stickiness help us cook that out of here so it's on high and like I said this is gonna cook like this for as long as I'm not getting any slime coming off of my spatula okay Okay, you guys, I think we are just about where we need to be as far as um, the consistency. See how that just falls off? There is no sliminess, nothing like that attached. So turn this thing down to medium hot heat and we're going to add our chicken tenders. work 
them. It's crazy, y'all. You have to really, literally, you have to babysit this dish. <clears throat> There's something you want. Oh, y'all see how I changed out my utensil? I used this on my grill, girl, but uh -uh. I started noticing how things were trying to stick. And I had to break this out, so... Here's the shrimp stock. It cooks for an hour. What I'm gonna do now is place my strainer over this, the other pot, and we're gonna just pour the juice directly, the broth directly over into here, okay? take a little bit of garlic powder. I use quite a lot, so I don't want to use too much. Just a, a little sprinkle. A little bit of onion powder. Not very much, y'all. Some chicken bouillon seasoning. okra soup this is as american as we can get to that i think so i'm going to give this a taste test to kind of see where we are and the flavor is very nice okay guys i'm gonna allow this to cook down and we'll add our shrimp at the very end I will see you guys when this is done. All right, you guys. So as you can see, as you can see, I made mine a little too loose because I added pretty much all of the stock that I made as opposed to wait, waiting it out and seeing what all it needed. So I made a roux. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to let that cool off, but it's getting late and I went ahead and added it anyway, but um, I made a roux to help thicken this thing on up and hopefully we'll be almost done with this thing. It wasn't hard to make, but there are a lot of steps to follow and if you're not careful, um, if you're not careful, you'll definitely, definitely miss something or make a little boo-boo like I did. So I think I did well for the first time. So I added my room. I'm going to give that time to kind of sit here and work his magic to thicken this up. And I will see you guys back here shortly. I have the rice in the rice cooker. I cooked some jasmine rice. And like I said, it's in the, um, it's in the rice cooker. So I will come back to you guys once hopefully everything thickens up and we're good to go. All right, guys, so here's the finished result. And look at that. That looks amazing. We're going to have that over some rice. 
If anybody tried this recipe, come back and let me know how you liked it. This is at the 21 cup line. So this made exactly 21 cups of soup. Um, almost, that's almost about six liters, okay? So that's pretty, that's a good amount to make. And I have a very large family, so that's perfect for us. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you all next time. Bye.